around 25 years, the infamous Giuseppe Zanotti has enchanted the fashion, music, and entertainment worlds with his signature blend of Italian intrigue and modern glamour. It doesn't matter if it's the red carpet, the runway, or the streets, his shoes are coveted by women all around the world for their modern femininity. With a touch of sensuality, a touch of hip-hop, and a whole lot of Giuseppe, these trendy heels are irreplaceable. However, success does not come to anyone on a silver platter, and so was the case with Zanotti. Despite being one of the most renowned shoe designers in the world today, the former radio DJ struggled for seven years before finding his way into the fashion industry. Before forming an identity in the world of fashion, Zanotti used to be a part of the music industry when he learned to play instruments and started working for free as a DJ for a local independent radio station at the age of 17. But, unfortunately, the independent radio did not cover his bills, and when he reached 24, his parents did not want to provide him with financial support anymore. So, what do you think drove the 24-year-old radio guy towards fashion? The same thing that drove him to radio, music. As a devout collector of long play records, which he would obtain through London's black market, Zanotti was beguiled by the style of Jimi Hendrix and soul artists from Philadelphia which he would find on those long play covers. Their attire struck him to such an extent that he decided to pursue an entire career in it, which turned out to be probably the best decision of his life. Having a newfound enthusiasm in mind, Zanotti began a career in manufacturing women's shoes in the 1980s. Starting out as a freelance designer, he worked his way up to well-known fashion houses. Zanotti was dazzled by the idea of luxury shoes and jewelry and wanted to merge them creating a new style of footwear, particularly one adorned with oversized stones and crystals, usually used in the making of Bijou jewelry. The company began with beautifully embellished, extravagant heels and has evolved into one of the most prestigious luxury brands today. However, at the heart of it all lies Giuseppe's illimitable ingenuity and enduring passion for footwear. As a child, Zanotti lived in San Mauro Pascali, in the Emilia Romagna region of Italy, which is located just outside the seaside resort of Rimini. At the time, the area had, you guessed it right, a long standing tradition of high end shoemaking. Hence, it is not a surprise that Zanotti was quite familiar with the world of lavish shoes ever since childhood. In a 2014 interview with Harper's Bazaar Australia, he remarked, I was always obsessed with shoes. I think the first pair I remember were my mother's. I was only seven or eight, and I remember being impressed with the shape of the toe. Then came the year 1994, which proved to be fundamental in the formation of Zanotti's eponymous brand, when he headed out to New York City to introduce his first Giuseppe Zanotti collection to a gathering of fashion editors and retailers. Saks Fifth Avenue, Neiman Marcus and Barney's New York were among the primary lavish retailers to get the collection and remain retailers of the brand till today, alongside Bergdorf Goodman, Harrods, Harvey Nichols, among others. Zanotti's collection turned out to be a hit, and he acquired enough money in 1996 to obtain a modest shoe factory called Vicini in San Mauro Pascali. Embarking on the restructuring of his then small business, he committed his attention and time at the factory to creating and producing his own line of footwear, eventually becoming one of the most renowned designers. He moved his entire style team at Vicini and established new departments, specializing in the manufacture of heels and ornamental jewelry. Zanotti began his business with a workshop of only 15 people and has since grown to a company of 350 highly experienced workers who produce over 480,000 pairs of premium footwear for women. The bejeweled footwear brought Zanotti fame as well as money and consequently, he opened the very first Giuseppe Zanotti boutique in Milan in 2000 making it another groundbreaking year in the brand's journey towards success. Many other stores trailed after this in places like New York City, Los Angeles, London, Dubai, Stockholm, Paris, St. Tropez, Hong Kong, Moscow, and Miami, leading to 2016, when Giuseppe Zanotti commended the kickoff of its 100th store at IFC in Shanghai. The label gained further popularity and eventually, Zanotti started to make sales via three distinct lines, namely, Giuseppe Zanotti Designs, Vicini and Tappi, with stores spread in every corner of the world, from the USA to Russia, Bahrain to Singapore. 
Aside from these maneuvers, he also developed shoes for well-known brands such as Thakun Panishkal, Delfina de Lettres, Promza Schooler, Vera Wang, Christopher Kane, and Pierre Baumain, among others. By the year 2014, the brand began putting more emphasis on increasing its international progress, due to which Louise Vuitton obtained 30% of its shares, allowing the shoe company to flourish its name worldwide. With this came a long list of prestigious clients. Demi Moore, Eva Menz, Cameron Diaz, Victoria Beckham, Fergie, and Ashanti are among the many celebrities who have benefited from Zanotti's attention. According to Zanotti, hip-hop is his favorite style of music, which is why the popular music genre and Giuseppe Zanotti are inextricably linked. Now and again, the famous Italian designer collaborates with some of hip-hop's biggest artists, allowing them to design their own footwear. Zanotti produced the much-discussed Cruel Summer Sandals, worth approximately $6,000, in partnership with Kana West nine years ago. A bit more recently, he designed a shoe inspired by artist Kid Cutie, the outcome of which proved to be a huge success. Besides these, there is a long list of Zanotti's partnerships with popular hip-hop artists, also including the one and only, multiple Grammy award-winning artist Beyoncé. The reasons why some of Hollywood's top divas and others cling to Giuseppe Zanotti's designs are obvious. The brand is not just famous for its glamorous aesthetics, but also because of the focus, it puts on complementing the shoes with the wearer's body and complexion, as well as the emphasis it lays upon the footwear's dimensions and ability to provide support a foot. Having learned the shoe stitching craft as a young boy and researching various types of leathers and ornamental materials for more than 15 years, Zanotti is an expert in knowing what design would work best with a certain material and has never overlooked any technical or aesthetic part of the footwear. Moreover, the shoes are entirely handcrafted in Italy, and they look like it. Each precious gem is handcrafted one at a time, and it's all created by Italian artisans, who pay close attention to every detail of the approximately 600,000 pairs of shoes produced each year. According to Zanotti, no part of any shoe is created outside of its Italian facilities, a claim that only a few well-known companies can make today. The brand puts a lot of thought into each and every product and spends up to six months developing the design of a single shoe. What once began as a footwear label has now expanded to include small leather products, such as handbags and more recently, ready-to-wear, which Zanotti refers to as leather-to-wear because leather is the only material utilized in their manufacture. Although, shoes are, and most probably always will be the focal point of the brand. Zanotti's profound dedication and effort he puts into the designs and quality of his footwear have not gone unrewarded, for he has been named designer of the year three times by Fairchild and was also awarded the Prix d'Excellence de la Mode by Marie Claire International for top footwear line. The year 2021 followed Giuseppe Zanotti's unique designs along with symbolic imagery. The latest source of inspiration for the brand seems to be the beautiful peony flower, symbolizing prosperity and well-being. It was featured in a limited edition capsule collection that includes moccasins, sneakers, ballerina pumps, and biker boots, as well as leather accessories for men and a jewelry line for women. In January 2021, this collection was launched in all Giuseppe Zanotti shops as well as online. It is quite evident that Zanotti's hard work has paid off tremendously well. Today, the Giuseppe Zanotti brand has evolved into everything an Italian shoe designer could wish for and more. A Zanotti shoe is regarded as a work of art as well as a symbol of quality and craftsmanship, and many fashionistas adore it because of its now legendary beauty. His heels are the object of every woman's desire, and his sneakers are a must-have for any self-respecting hip-hop musician.